What's up, YouTube? We're back with another episode. What the hell am I doing? And we're here with another explore today. We found a farmhouse which has been abandoned since about 2009. Place is quite big inside and also a little bit decayed. Now, don't get disappointed. We only went in just to take a look to see if it was worth filming. We haven't really taken a close look yet. Um, we're going to do that together. So, uh, before we get into it, this is the place right here behind me kind of hard to see it's kind of buried a little bit as you can see but uh yeah i think we should get in there and see what secrets this place has to learn hide Okay, so walking up to the place, we'll take a look outside real quick just so you guys can see what's going on. Um, walking in from the driveway, there is a cabin or a shed or a garage or something here that's buried. Um, it's in pretty rough shape, I think, but let's go see if we can see what's going on here. Looks like we can get around this tree, see what's inside. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, that's cool. We've got an old school chair here. Look at this thing. So this is definitely the garage. Um, you can see this door. Has definitely seen some better days. It's kind of a cool garage though. As you can see at one point there was a kitchen in here. Or a laundry room or... Some kind of set up with a sink. That's real cool. And out here, looks like you got, uh, well, I guess this was the other door, but uh, it's very overgrown here, as you can see. It's very cool. All right, let's work our way over to the house. See what's going on. Okay, so up front here, let's check out this other shed before we go into the house. I'm not sure if anything's worth seeing in here, but we'll find out. Did fly the drone by it just to get some artistic shots, but, uh, well, that's interesting. Hmm. Well. I'm not sure what this is. Maybe you guys in the comments can tell me. I thought this was a regular shed. But, uh... I mean, at some point it was. It's got a breaker in it. It's got a desk. But, uh... I don't know what this is. It must have been some kind of a... must have been some kind of a sump pump or some kind of a well or something for the, for the water tables. I'm not really sure. It doesn't go anywhere, though. Okay, let's work our way over to the house. As you guys can see, lots of goldenrod here. So there's the house there. And we'll work our way over to it now. Now this one is a big one, but there's not a whole bunch to see inside, so I'll try to uh, keep it as interesting as I can for you guys. Alright, so we got this big door here, let's bore it up at the front. Very cool stonework. Okay, let's go in. Right away, we go in, we get into a kitchen. 
And uh, it's interesting. I mean, if you look at the walls, you got some interesting colors. Orange, of course. And yes, this place is old. Look at those plaster walls. They left the price tags on all the light switches. So at some point, somebody tried to renovate. You got the somewhat modern kitchen equipment here. I would assume this is probably early 2000s. That's why I say somewhat modern. And they've got, uh, you know, typical old school wood floors, which are cool. So I'll keep going in here. And yeah, there's more of that plaster. That's how you know a place is old when you see that inside the walls. An old shelf or spice rack. That orange color around the fridge. Yeah, kind of a cool cool kitchen kind of a big room I like that brick wall there and there's the window to that side and somebody put fridge there in case you didn't know okay so we'll go uh, we'll go this way first this room is cool now I take it this would have been the uh, the main family room or entertainment area of this house uh, again, it's got those interesting orange walls. It's got a blue closet, which is kind of a mismatch, but, you know. Looks like someone was playing paintball in here. Yeah, those look like paintball splatter. Very tall ceilings. It had the... Uh, very cool room at one point in time. And I like this feature, this fireplace with your intake fans on the bottom and the uh, fans blowing out the heat at the top. You got a beautiful timber mantle. Surprised this is still here and someone didn't steal this, to be honest with you. I mean, that's just wonderful. That's really cool. And then you got the orange wall going to the door outside. Now this is where it gets a little interesting. Let's go see what's over here. We have a brand new window. So, I mean, someone was fixing this place up at one point in time. Somebody was trying to save this place. Now, I guess this was a bathroom. As you got the sink and the vanity that's still here. Um, you've even got some water pipes there. So, yeah, this definitely was... At least a bathroom or a powder room of some sort. And then over here, which is kind of strange. I mean, the wall is missing now. And so, actually, no, the pipes are there. It's just the wall is missing. Over here, you have another bathroom, which kind of makes the other one confusing. But it is maybe a powder room because it's by the front door. But uh, you've got the, the bathtub. You got a lot of flies and cobwebs, and a toilet that's just crumbling to pieces in front of a cinder block wall. One of the reasons why we were suspicious that this place has been added on to. And there's uh, the remnants of a medicine cabinet. Okay, well, let's continue forward. So over here, that goes upstairs. We'll check that out in a minute. And that goes downstairs. We'll check that in there. Look at those old school grates for the HVAC system. Now this is, uh, I mean, look at the decay. There's a lot of decay on the walls. The floors are very nice in here. The floors are very nice. You've got those old school barn or farmhouse windows. Giant windows, beautiful trim. The decay is just nuts. Look at that decay on the wall. What do you guys like about the decaying houses the most? Do you like paint peel? Do you like when there's moss? Tell me in the comments what you like. And that is just a very deep closet. 
I personally like paint peel. I think paint peel is pretty cool. Like this in the corner, the peeling and the discoloration. Where the pipe for the heating would go up. It's very cool. Toilet seat lid. Toilet seat. Gillette. That was the best a man can get. I don't know about now. Very tall ceilings in here, probably 12 to 15 feet. Look at that trim on that window. Just incredible. If you like wood, then these houses are for you. Yeah, and that's a huge window too. It's probably about four feet wide. Again, beautiful trim, nice big ledge. You can have decorations or whatnot in front of there. Very neat. And over here, I didn't even notice this. That's another door to outside. Look at that trim. That's very cool too. And you've got this barnwood stuff everywhere. Rain scotting out of barnwood. Just beautiful. You know, I don't mind the orange walls. They kind of work with this woodwork. That door, just look at that. Look at that door handle. Everything about that door screams it's a, like a thousand years old. Or well, maybe not that old, but you know what I mean. Okay. Uh, I think that covers this floor. Let me just make sure real quick. Okay, both these stairs go up, so you know what? We'll go up this way. These are those farmhouse stairs that I love. And already, I have a bad feeling that this is going to be the turd. Oh, it's a turd collection for, ooh, there's some fresh ones in there. I will not be stepping on those ones this time. Okay. Now, I wonder if those could have possibly been um, servant stairs. I really don't know. But it's a cool room. Nothing too fancy. Roomy. There's the other stairs that we saw. We'll take those down to the basement. This is the upstairs bathroom. It's been pretty much gutted for anything of value. And I guess they were lowering it out the window with this rope. That's kind of crafty. They really like this orange in this house, though. Eh? What do you guys think of the orange? That's an old hanger. And the floors up here are very typical and nice as well. We've got, our, we've got a blade there. Pretty decayed room. This room's pretty messed up. Very cool though. There's some more of that paintball stuff. It's got to be paintball. Somebody was shooting those in here. Look at this. Decaying wall. And that paint peel is just... Look at the different colors of the paint that's below. Very cool. Trim for the door is very nice again. I like how they cut around it for the heating pipe. Kind of crude, but just how things were done. The railing has seen better days, but obviously at one point in time it was quite cool. Okay, so we got this room here. Just beds. Like there's not a whole lot to see. We got your duck border. <laughs> You've got your flower wallpaper. This kind of reminds me of wallpaper I've seen before in my lifetime. Look at the roof. Probably the coolest thing in this room is that decay on the roof ceiling. Just absolutely wild. Or the door, for that matter. All right, let's continue on. Looks like we got another stairwell going up here. Yes, we do. 
This here, unfortunately, is just locked off. Uh, we believe there's a balcony outside that this goes to. Well, it's not that we believe, we saw it. It just, that's what we believe it goes to. And then we got this room here. Again, pretty tall ceilings. I say the ceilings are at least 12 feet tall in this room, on this floor. Got your typical windows, coat rack and shelving, or you know, shelving it and stuff to hang clothes on here. It's very cool. And look at this. We got another set of stairs that go up. So let's avoid these turds and uh, check it out. Oh, there's a big one there. Man, this place is a. Woo! Yikes. All right. Well, this is interesting. So this is the attic of the house. Not a whole lot to see up here. You just kind of admire the, uh, the roofing structure. That's all there really is. Some electrical cables there. Maybe that's why that's open. Yeah, it's very neat. You got your dormer there. And you got the other dormer over here. And there's a little ladder for something. Hmm. Well, this dormer is kind of cool. A, because it uh, looks out at a field, which is pretty. But B, what I also like about it is you can see that they, uh, they built over the original existing roof to add the dormers. As you can see, the shingle roof. And you can also see the, uh, the cedar shingles, too, below them. So that's pretty wild. You don't see that very often. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we'll go down these other stairs here. Let you guys see both ways as we work our way down to the basement. Okay, so here we go, the basement, the dungeon. Cobwebs, which are nasty. Who likes those? Not me. Okay, so right away, we come down, we got a paint area. We've got actually poured concrete, which surprises me. But we have wood beams. Got uh, something that looks like a laminate floor that's supposed to look like a rug. Um, okay, well, we got a couple of oil tanks, so obviously they were using oil for their heat. And a really big work table, which is really cool. All barn wood. That's pretty neat. I like that table. You got your, your power board, your circuit board there. Circuit breaker. You got a water heater, which somewhat looks new. I don't see a date on it. And you got the freezer over here with uh, nothing in it. A pan and some coffee containers. And obviously, this is the water softening lines. There's another water heater. Oh, that's cool. Didn't notice that before little makeshift table right below the stairs obviously wouldn't hold much but still another cool spot to work and over here another section of the basement and this is where the furnace would have been or the former remains of a furnace okay and this is evidence of a an addition to the house too this would have been a 
cellar exit at one point. And now you can see it's uh it's clearly a floor. And those are some old school doors, very cool. Or even spring hinge so they would shut. Oh, that's a cool. There's the stove. Wow. So the stove's still here. That's neat. And this furnace looks like it had some stuff added onto it. That's not how they normally look. And over here, huh? We got some clothes on a pipe. We got some kids' clothes up there. And I guess over here was a cellar room. Hmm. They've got clothes blocking that pipe for some reason. Interesting. And over here they had, uh, looks like pieces of a crib. And the bat, maximum ice. I got, bet you those things are from the 90s. I bet you. And that's it. Hmm. There's a check on the floor from July 9th, 2002. That's interesting. All right, everybody. That's going to wrap this one up. I hope you guys enjoyed this explore. I sure did. I thought this was a pretty cool place to check out, even though there might not have actually been very much to see in here. It's a big place. It's got some interesting colors, and it's got some interesting design choices. Um, so, yeah, I'm glad I got to check it out. I hope you guys are too. If you were, please hit that like button and leave a comment. And also, if you saw something I didn't say, please point it out. I would love to know. That's all the time we have for today. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel there. Check out the last video here. Check out this random video here. And we'll see you soon in the next video. Thanks for tuning in.